Hi, today we're gonna simulate pilot incapacitation. Let's assume two pilots are incapacitated and this young lady will try to fly and land this plane. The airplane is in flight. We'll try to do the ILS approach. Simple ILS approach. Are you ready? Yes. Get. Let's go. BA320, turn right heading 070. BA320, your speed is increasing. Check, auto thrust is engaged. On the front panel, check auto thrust and engage it. Auto thrust. Day 320. You are on the localizer. I do suggest pull heading, fly heading. Day 320. You need to engage auto thrust. Do you see on front panel auto thrust? And now I just suggest put levers to climb. Thrust levers you can put to climb. Day three two zero. I hear the warning. You can cancel the warning. Press press red. Lights. Do you see the red light in front of you? You can press this button. Because you have over speed, you need to control your speed, maintain altitude, and put levers, thrust levers to climb. On your right, on the pedestal, we have thrust levers. Yes, you can put thrust levers to fly. Well done. Now maintain 4,000 feet. Climb and maintain 4,000 feet. Now you are maintaining 7000, you need to descend slightly and maintain 4000 feet. You are descending very steep, so I suggest reduce the vertical speed. Three two zero. I suggest you turn left heading zero seven zero. You can select heading zero seven zero and fly fly directors. Just to make life easy, I do suggest you can engage autopilot. Do you, you engage auto thrust? Above the auto thrust, there is a two auto pilots. You can press and engage one of them. Did you engage it? Yes. Well yeah. done. Your speed is decreasing, so I do suggest select flaps one on the pedestal on the right. Yeah. So you can select flaps one. Can you fly to the left heading 070? You just turn and push the heading knob. Pull heading knob. 
and select heading 070. Now you are descending, check your vertical speed. You just selected the heading, so on the same panel, slightly to the right, there is a vertical speed knob. Vertical speed shows minus 1500. You select vertical speed zero. Now you are on the base leg. Do you see the airport on your left? Yes, I see. I will give you long final. So at the moment, continue present heading. Your speed is quite low. Please select speed one nine zero. Select speed on the same panel. Select speed one nine zero. Push. It will be managed. If you pull, it will be selected. So pull and select pull and select one nine zero. Just pull and select one nine zero. Now we're going to make uh, the ILS approach. Don't press it now. Don't press the approach button now, but just locate it. Do you see approach button? Yes, I Now you turn left heading 300. Select heading Three zero zero and pull to the left heading three zero zero. You are turning right. I suggest you turn left heading three zero zero. Now you are approaching the ILS and localizer and localize slope. So I do suggest put flaps too. And select speed 160. Select and pull speed 160. Is the speed decreasing? Select and pull speed. Don't push, pull. Now you can arm the approach, push approach button. Do you see the, uh, on the FCU glide slope localizer blue? On the screen in front of you, on the top of the screen, do you see glide slope and localizer in blue color? How much fuel do you have? So the fuel is indicated on the... You have two screens on your right and the fuel should be FOB. Do you see? So there are indications about the engine parameters and above the flap indication there is information about the fuel. 
confirm it have fuel 4,600 kilograms. Now you are on the localizer. Do you see the lock star indication on your PFD? The screen in front of you, on the top, the, the line on the top should be lock star. Confirm. So I do suggest for you to make auto land. For this reason, you engage the second autopilot. Put autopilot on. Do you see the light on autopilot one? Yes. Well done. So I suggest to put flaps three. And you are on the glide slope. Confirm on the PFD, the screen in front of you, on the top glide slope star in the box. The, the screen in front of you, glide slope. It's 1000. To be stabilized, select flaps full for landing. You are perfectly on the localizer and on the glide slope. Well done. Remember, upon touchdown, you need to put thrust to idle. Five hundred. The big levers on your right. Do you see the thrust levers? Four hundred. Three hundred. And remember, after the touchdown, you need to press the pedals to brake. Now you can 30, put thrust 40, to idle. 30, 20, 10, retard. Now you press the brakes, press the brakes and maintain Well done. Now you press the brakes and keep it on the pedestal. Just behind of you, there is a parking brake. You can set the parking brakes on. Just maintain, keep the brakes and set the parking brakes. So behind the flap levers, Behind the flap levers, there is a parking brake handle. The parking brake handle, you can just rotate to set the parking brakes on. If you release the brakes, the airplane should stay on the ground. No movement. Well done. So, the help is on the way, the fire brigades is on the way, and the medical is on the way. They will be very soon. Thank you. Well done.